Okay, Felf, we go in hard. You follow my lead. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics oh, oh my for RKO, God. pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. That she's... We're going to have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. Jesus, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh... That's all? You got more in that goddamn book, spit it out. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. Are you finished? I'd like some time to grieve for my wife. We get the impression that Celine liked to live the glamorous life. How did she end up with a hump like you, Jacob? Celine was one of the first woman pilots. She hung out with movie stars and royalty. But when she came back here broke and struggling, she married a mechanic, put a roof over her head, food on the table. Not glamorous, but the best I could do. I'm not ashamed about that. We know that she drinks, Jacob. Drunks have regular haunts, places they feel relaxed. <sighs> Celine did most of her drinking at home. She didn't have many friends left. Not many alcoholics do. Not real friends, anyway. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. Uh, I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. That's a lie, and you know it. You tailed her, watched her come out of a bar, and then beat her to death. Admit it, Henry. Why would I do that, detective? My wife was a drunk. It was a sickness with her. Doesn't mean I didn't love her. Would you stop loving your wife if she was unwell? No, I wouldn't. And how are we meant to believe that, Jacob? It isn't looking good for you. That nosy bitch from next door, Janie Horgan. She'll tell you I left. <laughs> and what time? Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? I've had just about enough of you. You went to her house, you fought, you beat her, she left and then you followed her. I left first. She tried to batter me with a frying pan. I had to slap her down. Understandable. You were separated from your wife. You argued. She wanted things I couldn't provide. Fact is, she was disappointed with life. So you can prove that you came back here after you left your wife's place. I came back here. I was here all night. Start work at 6.30. I'm not the going out type. 
You called the bar to give yourself an alibi. Then you went after her, beat her, and dumped her in a park. I think you are a sack of shit, Jacob. You're not going to pin Celine's death on me. I'll take a lie detector test to prove it. You want to take all that back, you fresh-faced little punk? So you were here, tucked up in bed, while someone was out there beating your wife's brains out. That's all you've got? Talk to the bartender at the Bomba Club. He'll tell you, he called here last night, and I answered the phone. Did a neighbor see you? Did you talk to anyone? You need an alibi, Jacob. I don't have one. I was here. I listened to Amos and Andy on the radio, and then I went to bed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the tramp and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. <gasps> okay. Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. What now? Hurry it up and call in, Phelps. I'm not sitting on this asshole forever. I've got nothing to say to you bastards. That's all? If you got more in that goddamn book, spit it out. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. We know she went to the Bomba Club. The bartender there, he, he calls me if things are getting out of hand, and I go and I bring her home. He called me last night. I said no. Phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm going to have to live with that. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around nine. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? 
She was a loss in a trap, and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. <gasps> this doesn't look good for you, Jacob. Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. I'm stumped. Ideas? Hurry it up and call in, Phelps. I'm not sitting on this asshole forever. I've got nothing to say to you bastards. <laughs>